Hadi dakika git hadi at. Don't look happy. Is everything all right? Thanks to daddy. Thanks to daddy for being very irresponsible. A man that will never take his family serious. I should have been the one to come and pick you. Mommy, daddy might have his reasons for not going. Really? He better do. He better have a very good reason why he had to keep me waiting after such a long flight. Mm -hmm. He has to explain to me. Don't oh, worry, my dear. Um, go and freshen up. Join us to the table, okay? Mommy, I got no time to freshen up. I'm famished. Okay. Like I said, it's food with some How long will it take? You see? That your father will never in his life. Can you just stay without talking about father? Can you talk to me like that? Maya! Mm -hmm. How dare you? How dare you cut mommy short? <laughs> Yes, hello. Yes, that's my father. What? 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 What, <gasps> what is it? Daddy. Daddy is dead. <gasps> Madam, according to the autopsy test you carried out on your husband, we found out that he was not poisoned. He was strangled to death. Jeez! He was strangled? Who could have done this to my father? Well, madam, we assure you that the perpetrators of this evil act must be apprehended in due time. Strangled? Inspector, you have to get to the roots of this matter and please keep us updated. My uh, other daughter will come back very soon. We'll sit as a family to, to agree on when to bury my husband. Well, you have no problems, my lord. And I want you to always give us this information that can help in our investigation. Detective, please do all you can. Please. We will also do our best to provide you with whatever information you may need. Please just help us find my father's killer, please. It's okay. It's all right. Just put yourself together. Yeah. Now, Amanda. I want you to know that whoever is responsible for the death of your husband must be put to be and must face the dire consequences. Can I assure you that? Yes, Thank, Thank you so much. After that demise, I noticed there is this strange air all over the house. What is going on? I don't understand what you're talking about. Please don't play dumb with me. I know you know what I am talking about. Is there something I need to know? Is there something you're not telling me? Why don't you ask your mother what really killed her husband? Maya! 
Maya, are you okay? How dare you ask me a question as stupid as who killed your father? Father was poisoned and we were the last person to serve him food. Meaning you think I killed your father? Yes, I might have had issues with your father. It was just because of the things he did against me. I couldn't have killed a man I accepted his proposal. I couldn't have killed a man my own children calls father. <laughs> no normal woman in her normal senses who kill her husband to be called a widow. Do you think being a widow is a title to enjoy? I'm sorry, Mother. Just that. We are thinking why I was always fighting with your father. So that's something we'll talk about some other time. But right now, I want you to leave me alone. Many of my grounds, I'm here to seek for a job. Of a driver. You come to seek for a job for you? Yes, boss. Are this place big like this? It's big like office for you? Yeah, we don't get any job. I can't do that. Make my madam first for me. I beg. Like you want to see madam? You know madam? Make you just see madam how? Yeah, I beg. You are not big like office for you, Aina. Which job again? I beg. Sam? Madam? What's happening over there? Oh, this boy, you intend to find job, but nothing I don't feel like Madam. Okay, let him in. Madam, I'm not coming to Let him in. Come with me. Yeah, which one you going to do? Madam, see, you know, this guy, you intend to find work. I don't want to say you don't feel like office. So, it's okay, it's okay. Hi, young man. So, what's your name? My name is Grant Chikima. Oh, like, gate man already. Told you. We don't have vacancy for a driver here. Yeah. Especially now that we are, um, we are going to handle a big event as uh, your father's figure. Oh, yes. Um, do you have your resume and your driving license? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Okay. We'll get back to you, young man. Okay, Just leave your number by the gate. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Madam, I should collect his number. Get it. Just get his number. Mother boy, don't know him. Mom, you didn't tell me you were going to drive. Ah, six that we actually need one now. You know the event is going to be a very big one. I will need someone that will drive everyone around. The oh, market and the road. Yeah, yeah, right. For the run around. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Oh, a young man will be coming to pick you now, okay? Put on a little bit. What took you this long? I'm sorry, ma'am. I had to measure the mechanic. Do a very good job in the camera. Laziness is one thing I will not accept in this house. Sorry, ma'am. Please, ma'am. Take this number. Dial it. She will direct you on where she is. Marty Benita, I have a number here. Stella. Ma, you have another daughter. Do I owe you the answer? Sorry, ma. No, ma. Let me have a number. 
Good afternoon. What is it? Come on, see this, see this small driver that your employees today. They tell you won't be make a go open gate for us. Do you want to lose your job? No, madam, sorry. Open the gate. Open gate. Jocelyn, why? Why did you do this? You created a space that made my children begin to question me. They begin to raise suspicious questions. If I wasn't their mother, they would have... We would have forced you to tell us what our father did to you. I made you to tell him the way you did. Maya! Stop it. Don't ever speak to one like that ever again. Mommy? Mommy will love you. Will love you very much. But this suspense is killing us. It's making us all upset. I wanted it just for your father to apologize to you all for the wrongs he did against me. That's all I wanted. Start telling us again. Okay. It all started when.
So we were in the middle of something before you came in. And like I've been saying, it's all about moving on right now. We have to be strong. Put everything behind us and focus on the future. Especially when it comes to your father's business and properties. Mommy, you are about to tell us the story before Stella came down. Yes, um, Mom was about to tell us. So it's good you're here, Stella. And as for the business, Chief Madu will take care of that. Speaking of Chief Madu, how come he was the first person to call me after Father's death? Chief Madu. And do you think today is good enough? I've been standing there, I saw you alone, so I'll take this like and share this space with you if you don't mind, madam. Are you are you mad? Ah, no, madam. Have you lost it? No, 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 madam. Come on, get out. Can you imagine this boy? There's nothing I want to say this You sounded so urgent on the phone. How do you? Why did you do it? Did what? Why did you take him away? Why not go straight to the point? Stop playing dumb with me. I know that Johnson was never a good person when he was alive. But you didn't need to strangle him. That was bad. That was wrong. Why did you do that? Just what are you driving at, woman? You are treading on a dangerous path. But I have the same question to ask you. But never mind, after the phone her. You want to test my venom? Is that? Are you threatening me? Madu is this poison us to extort money from the company? Not really. Um, but based on the circumstances that uh, surrounds your father's death, 
anyone in that company is a suspect. Yeah, we should call the detective right away. Not so fast, my dear. I've asked the account officer to get me all the records. Let me get that from him first. Then we'll know where to go next. I think I found... Mom already found out about Chief Madu. And we will be visiting the office frequently from now on. Chief Madu? Yes. Chief Madu. Benita around? Benita. Mm, she's in here. Hey, darling. Yeah. Yeah. I'm fine. You are beautiful. Really? What are you oh, really? What are you talking about? Mm. That's what I'm talking uh, about. Talking uh. about. <laughs> Come on, baby. Yeah. So, mom and siblings are inside. Let really? me say hello. Time. How can you Madu be this ridiculous? How can he be this heartless? He wants to reap where he did not sow. It's wrong. Why is always getting that? <laughs> Wait. Oh. Okay. Ah, hell yeah. Okay. Mom. Yes. Good day, Mom. Sit down. Okay. <laughs> so, Mom, Six, this is Eric, the man after my heart. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, my dear. Thank you, Mom. How are you doing? I'm very fine. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. My daughter has told me so much about you. <laughs> but, um... Mm. Your face looks familiar. Really? Uh, uh, have we met? Uh, no, I, I don't think so. But that, maybe in the church. Church? Yes, Mommy Charles. He's an usher in the church. A very good Christian. <laughs> Mommy, what is it? Please talk to me. What is it? How do you expect me to be alright when I see nothing good about the young man you brought here earlier today? Eric. Come on, Mommy, Eric is a good man. What is good about him? How well do you know that young man for you to call him the man after your heart? Mommy, Eric and I have been bonding real good since I got back. I love him and he loves me. That you love him and he loves you does not mean that he's a good man. I just want you to be very careful, my dear. There's something familiar about that word. But I know there's something about it. You have to be careful. I've heard you, mommy. Okay, okay. I know you love me and I love you. I don't want to make you think. I appreciate that, mommy. But I'm a grown woman. I know what is good for me, mommy. And I'm very sure after that funeral, Eric will come to do the needful. You have to be careful, sweetheart. I know. Hey, comes the bride. Hey, comes the bride. <laughs> the mommy, come on. <laughs> come on,
about the other day, I'm sorry. But are you scared me? You hope you are fine. It would be nice if I can talk to someone. Ah, I'm at your service now, nationwide. Trust me. My dad was poisoned. And the killer is yet to be found. And everyone is acting like nothing happened. He was a rare gem. Someone like Chief Mab is not supposed to be seen with a person like your mother. What did you just say? No, please don't get me into trouble. Me, it's like I'm too forward. Though. No, no, I, I won't get into trouble. Please tell me what you know. I promise I'll keep it safe. Mm, the thing is, I don't know. Uh -huh. I do see them in all places. Like, their meeting normally does not end well. Yeah, that's what I mean. I had a job for you. Okay, madam, I'm not saying that I told you before. Trust me. I'm just a driver. This is for what I want to talk to this house. Them. Uh, please, I want you to prepare a transfer document to one of our clients in Angola as a beneficiary. Yes, I will send you an email regarding to the transfer. What? What, what do you mean is not possible? On whose instruction? David, don't get me upset. I said I will send you an email as regard to that effect. No sense. Yes, we all have to work for now. That Mr. Madu is using his position to siphon your father's wealth. Hell no, mommy. Things don't work like that anymore. Days are gone. And we're going to let him out of it. Mom, we really need to be careful. We need to be careful with everyone around us, especially that Madu. All right. Oh, uh, wait. Dave is calling. Uh, hello? What? Where is the manager? Oh. Okay, all right, thank you. Hello? Hello? I told you we'll play this game outside the office. I, I want you to start coming to my house. I think the person that killed my husband is on his way coming. He's on his way to my house, yes. Yes, immediately. What's going on? Mom, what's the problem? Yeah, it's okay. What is the meaning? How can you be managing my husband's company without clarifying your name first? Why are you truncating the activities of the establishment without even notifying the board? The it's board. quite unethical. And who is the board without the CEO? You? Oh. Inspector? Good day, madam. Good day, Inspector. This is the man that manages my husband's business. Okay. And he also happened to be an old friend. Okay. He was the only one that was with my husband when he died. 
So I want you to fetch the truth from this man. Is this the only thing you can offer? Detectives, no problem. Let's go to the station. Uh -uh. I don't think you know what you're doing. I shall do, my dear. Well, I'm Detective Sam for the state CID. So I'd like you to cooperate with us. I will go behind you, please. Let's go. Please, please. I don't want us to go the other way. And that can only be possible if you cooperate. Tell me what there is I need to know about your involvement with Chief Johnson in Kedubas' death. No, that's not a problem. Uh, Chief Johnson in Kedubas. Oh, may he so rest in peace. He was a man with a heart of gold. Though he had his own fancy, sorry to say this. What are you implying? Women. Pardon? His lust for women tore his family and his life apart. His wife trusted so much in him. In terms of fidelity. And Chief Johnson tried so much to hide his promiscuous life away from the wife. What is one unfortunate? She found out. She, she, she found out what? About the fruit of Chief Johnson's promiscuity when he was still young in the family, in the marriage. Johnson had a son with Elizabeth's best friend. This is a woman she introduced to her husband. And she tried everything. At the end, she was assimilated in the establishment. That's just a fuse. There's this uh, seminar we are preparing for. I hope you will join me. Mm. Uh, sweetheart, um, if you don't mind, uh, there's a program I want us to watch. Oh, really? I will love it. I will be glad to watch it. Mm -hmm. I, I will be glad to watch it. I will be glad. Is he on? Yes, he's hot. God's name does the story have to do with Johnson's death? Everything changed in the household of Jim Johnson till the day he died. I, I don't get it. His wife never forgave him or his mistress came with a baggage. The so-called mistress just sent after dropping the bombshell and she was gone with the wind. Uh, okay, afterwards what happened? Jim Johnson became a shadow of himself and the stranger in his own house. How many times have I warned you to stop coming close to my house? How many times? What is it? I have a wife, I have children, and you know it. I love my wife, I love my family. What else do you want from me? I thought I told you to get rid of that bastard son of yours. Oh, so you kept him alive? You have the guts to bring him to my office to come and do what? To come and disgrace me or what? Oh, you want to tear my family apart? It will never work for you. Don't worry, I will get back to you. Hello? Ahmad? Did you by any means see a lady in my office compound? Why do you allow her to come to the compound? Without my consent? How do you mean? Do you know what to do now? Just go straight to the security. 
call the security and bundle her out of that office. Yes, throw her out. Uh, when you are done, uh, come over to my house. Uh, we need to talk. We need to talk. You are quite sure that your wife is not at home? No, no one is at home. Uh, everyone is at home. This woman was in the office shouting on top of her voice that you are responsible for her son. It was unbearable over there. Why would you allow her to come into the office in the first place? Why would you? Without my consent? She, we never knew she was coming. Just from the blues, she just appeared ranting in the office. I told her to get to the doctor faster. I don't know she kept it. Boss, what are we going to do? If I had known what to do, I wouldn't be here discussing it. Do you know what? I want you to get rid of that, that woman and a, a, a pastor's son. Boss, I am an elder in the church, very close to the altar. Just get down on your knees and say some prayer. How do you mean, madam? I'm sorry about the ugly accident that occurred in the office the other day. I am so disappointed. We were friends before I became Mrs. Johnson. Have you forgotten that you were the one that encouraged me to marry him in the first place? Thanks for reminding me of that. Okay. I, I never knew it had something to do with grace. I was trying to save the situation as it were. I'm so sorry about it. I'm so angry. I hate the heading of that name. Johnson, I just wish he dies. I wish that so much. You mean she actually said that? Uh, Mr. Detective, those were actually her words. Did you care to warn Mr. Johnson about it? Ah, uh, she says even more worse things than, than that to Johnson. Uh, well, well, uh, we, we took it for granted with the excuse that it was just an outburst of, of, of anger. Can I ask you a question, Mr. Manu? Oh, please go ahead. How did you know about Johnson's death? Well, a stranger called my phone the day I was leaving office for lunch and he broke it sad news to me. May I know who I'm speaking with? Hey, hello? Since I couldn't call Elizabeth, his wife, I had to relate with his favorite daughter, Stella, before the doctor called Elizabeth. I'll go for now, Mr. Mandy. 
I want you to always know that you report here whenever we need you in the course of our investigation. I'm 100% here. One more thing. Um, you have to put your statement into writing while prepare your bill out. That's not a problem. And just in case, you're not expected to leave the house for now. I'm in, I show you. Once I get the train, I'm sure. Your father broke my throat by getting another woman pregnant. And as we speak, your father has a son somewhere. But trust me, I will not sit and watch a son of nobody from the gutters walk into my house to acquire all I worked so hard with your father to achieve. That will not happen. I won't let it happen. Mommy, please just calm down. You're hurting yourself. I am not hurt. Mom, you're hurt. And I'm not enjoying this, please. For God's sake, this is jet age. There is a legal will written. So nobody can come from anywhere to claim what he or she does not own. There's a lawyer, there's a will. So please calm down, okay? I'm sorry we are finding it this way. Good day, madam. Good day, young lady. Hello, inspector. Madam, you have to come with us to the station to answer a few questions regarding your husband's death. Excuse me? Are you in any way insinuating or accusing my own mother of killing my father? Young lady. She's not guilty. Nobody says she's guilty. Or less proven otherwise by a competent court. Although a chat with us can help the case, either in our favor or the opposite side. I am not going anywhere. With due respect, madam, do not permit us to apply force. Pardon? Oh, wait, where, where is Amaya? Okay, let's go. Okay, uh, I'm going with you. No, young lady. She has to come again. Okay. Inspector? See, young lady, I'm only doing my job, and this is for your favor. Okay? What do you have to say about the grief you had with your husband before he was murdered? My husband was taking any woman would want until he proved to me that no man could be trusted. meeting with a prospective client and their innovative conversation got me carried away. Sorry for coming man. Can we go up now? Yes. Come on. You're welcome. But so after then what happened? I went to his office and I met the same woman I asked him to employ. Then I also found out that she had a son for my husband. Then I slapped him because he betrayed all the trust I had on him. <laughs> you did slap your husband? Yes. I'll put it to you that for you to go to the extent of slapping your husband, you can as well make an attempt on his life. On the contrary, I learned how to stay on my path. I stayed away from this path because I didn't want any conflict. Maybe that must have sent the wrong signal out there. That was the best I knew how to handle the situation at that time. I was hurting. You say that you don't have a hand in your husband's death. No, I don't. 
It's okay. That will be all for now. Like I told you before, I want you to know that we are doing our job. And do expect us to call you whenever we deem it fit in the course of this very investigation. Okay, Mr. I'm sorry for your incompetences. No, it is okay. One of my inspectors will tell you about COVID. Thank you. is wrong. He should rot in jail. After committing such a crime, he went to turn the police against you. I mean, that is that is totally not acceptable. We will definitely see him in court. But Mr. Madu has beaten more than he can chew. Hello? We're all just waiting for you. Lolita, please. I need you to help me with something. Um, Maya, can't you see I have a discussion? I'm actually having a very important discussion. Please, just wait. I'm busy. I'm in the midst of a very important discussion. Come on, come on. Just get out, right? I'll be sure she just wants you to help her take a peek. For the ground. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, Maya. Okay. Thank you. 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 So, but seriously, I, I, I'm not sure I said it. You should be brought in jail. Sorry, you have to excuse us. I want to go and get dinner ready. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Can we? Yes, we'll. Tina. Oh, honey? Yeah. It's okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Want to get dinner? Okay, baby. Uh, honey? Yes. Can I get your car keys, please? I, Maya wants to drive out, so I need to help you repack. No, don't worry. I'll, I'll fix it. That's I'll fine, fix it. darling. You're my guest. Come on, sit down. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay? It's all right. I have an important meeting to meet up with. Okay, Daddy, please do me a favor. What could that be? You know, my love, my daughter, I can do everything for you. <laughs> Just give me a sec. Okay, what's well, up? Wow. 
You bought this for me? Yes. <laughs> no, 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 I forgot it. Do you like it? I love it. I love it. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Oh, like this? I am lucky. If I let it. That is pet. Thank you so much. Eh, that is it. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, let me wash. He's on his way now, so it's fine. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Uh, why would you waste so much time? Yeah, I'm fine. So, um, I was thinking of something. Tell me about it. I think I, I need someone to help me run my father's company. I'm auditor to be precise. Someone who could help with the accounts, balancing, and all that. very professional. <laughs> you know why I'm laughing? How can you need an auditor when I'm here? Have you forgotten that I work for Boomerang as the external auditor? Really? I can always fix that for you. This is your heart. That's why I just want us to conclude everything. Mm -hmm. You know, everything that has to do with your father's company, I'll fix it. Mm -hmm. I got you on your baby. Mm. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, okay. it's okay. Are you sure you're all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, yeah. Come on, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, I will talk to my mom about it so we could get the paperwork. Right now. now you're talking. That's my, that's my baby. That's my baby. <laughs> oh, stop. Come. What's the point? What's, what's the problem if I remove my wrist? Can you show up? Listen, with all due respect, it's my wrist right? It was too tight, so I had to loosen it all. That's right. enough of this. What's going on here? Okay, mommy. Mommy, what's here? Who do you mind? Who do you mind? I was actually on my way and when they came and they were asking for the wrist watch. I don't understand. I called the daughter to ask if the wrist watch I gave to daddy was in his hand when he died. And he said no. Even the detective here said there was nothing of such. Uh, and? And this one of me showed up here wearing the same exact wristwatch. And then you quickly removed it when you realized it could be recognized. How dare you, Eric? How dare you? It was so tight. I had to do it. Eric, how dare you? And what is going on there? What is 
to forgive this boy, my dude. Yes, yes, I, 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 I mean, it's, 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 it's,
<laughs> that means it's them. going to be a tough fight, I guess. Fight what? I like him and I want to have something serious with him. How can you like someone like that? Someone who just left here now because he saw you. It doesn't what? matter, okay? I like him. I see potentials in him. I would like to have something very serious with him. So I don't know if you can help me talk to him. I don't mind. You name your price. Anything it's again. You name your price. I told you that you so arrogant and stubborn. This has nothing to do with arrogance. This is pure wickedness. I don't like the way you treated us. I don't know. I don't know why he has refused to change his attitude of his. I don't know. Mama, I don't like this, oh. I don't know. Mama, this is wickedness. Why, why, why will he treat us like one poor church rat? This is absolute wickedness. Look at the way he asked us to, to be thrown out of his office just like that. It's not fair, Mama. I don't like it. But my son, I just wanted to introduce you to him as his son. Is, is that why he's, he has to treat us like, like one poor church rat? Like I'm, like, I'm, like I'm a nobody? This is not, this is not fair, I don't like it. It's wickedness. Yeah. This is not, he has to leave. Yeah. Guy, be serious. What? Oh, God. What is the problem now? What is it? Remember that girl, Pamela. That girl likes you. So you want to tell me that it's because of Pamela you came to call me out? What now? She said money. Money? Tell you. Piece of money. For real? Tell me the truth. Don't. Oh, God. Ah, ah. See, that money to be useful for you. Remember that you are going for an interview? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, nah. ah. See how you look. At least you need to change your top. Look true, nice. True, true, true. Um, so, how do you facilitate our meeting? Uh, ah, the meeting. No, don't worry about that one. Yes, I'll set the meeting. Uh, yeah, I'll do that one, yeah? For real? For real, my brother. Nurse! Nurse! Who is that? Good afternoon. What? Please, what? Please, what? My mother is dying. What Please, is this? It's all I've got. But I have advised you several times to, to take your mother to the hospital. But you wouldn't list it. See, no, it's not like I don't want to take my mother to the hospital. I don't have the money. Just help me. See, mix any kind of drug for her, please. I don't want her to die. She's all I have. Please. Just look around. Does that look like charity organization? No, just mix it now. 500, I'll pay you later, please. I don't have any money on me right now. Please. Give her this time. Thank you, Don't come back here. Okay, yeah. okay, please. Thank you. Mama. Yeah. My daughter is gone. Mama. 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 Times without number to stop talking about this Pamela. See, see, right now the only thing important to me is how I'm, I'm going to deal with that man, Chief Johnson Kedubar. That man made my mother lose her life. I am definitely going to deal with him, and that's all I'm thinking about right now. I don't want us to talk about Pamela right now. Please, I'm begging you, please. See, Sam, the easiest way to deal with your enemy is by bringing them closer, Sam. 
closer. Yes. And how do you know? <clears throat> you should get a job in his residence. Job? <laughs> what kind of job could he possibly have for me? It's a job. Any job. A gate man, a driver, even a cook. As long as you are in his residence, bringing him closer, that's just the main thing. Dan, I think you're right on this one. You can't sneak it over. I will deal with you. Definitely deal with that man. We will deal with him. But first, get the job. After my mother's demise, I needed to pay that fool in his own coins. I applied as a kid man in his company. And when I found out his wife trusted him, I had to utilize that. Madam, good morning. Madam, I want say I like you very, very much. I'm not going to walk out with the party. I'm not going to tell you. What is it? Madam, maybe like something like this. But I don't want me to be able to get problem. I like my job. Don't worry. It's okay. I promise not to let anyone know. Too. Madam, see, get one woman with the like of office. And we're gonna tell this woman say no one to again. If you tell she will come with the one or girl. And me, I, I will let me come office, come find out what's in now. Because I think she'll see that woman will come office today. Really? Yes, madam. Oh, thank you. Madam, you know assassinate that bastard. But the fool instead took his wristwatch.
try to talk to him to get rid of the wristwatch. Grant took the video. So you mean the video was the reason for the meeting? Exactly. Okay. The good thing is that Chief Johnson came by his dead. My only regret is that he has children scattered everywhere. But no regrets at all. Chief Johnson in Kenuba. I'm sorry for all the humiliation, all the insults, and all the accusations I leave against you. Maya, you are my little girl. You're actually the last born of this family. I forgive you before this day. Because if I were in your shoes and saw my mother treat my father the way I did, I would have taken the same stand. Simply because you didn't understand anything. I forgive you, my dear brother. I want the three of you to stand firm and make sure your father's name doesn't go down. Make sure your father lives on even though he's dead. Prove to the world that daughters, three big daughters like you, is better than a so-called son. <laughs> because I have sons and daughters here. Girls are stronger than the so-called men. Ah, that's funny. I have wealth and I have wealth. Come here. 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 Come here